What's going on everybody? My name is Salem Sini. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I focus on two things, faith and entrepreneurship. My hope is to help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover your purpose, and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. The reason why I decided to do this style of video is to minimize a lot of the distraction and the noise and talk about mastering the basics. What are some of the basic things that you need for your business? So let me ask you a question. Can you start a business with no money? As entrepreneurs, or in some cases, would-be entrepreneurs, we often have this anxious thing in us or the stress that falls upon us that always says, oh my God, because I don't have any money, I'm not able to start my business. But hopefully by the end of this video, I can be able to help you change the way you think about that. Here's the truth. You don't need money to start your business. You actually need the right resources. You need adequate resources to begin your business. We often think that money is the only thing we need to start your business when sometimes all we need is a host of things for us to get started with our business. Some of the successful entrepreneurs that we see today use a host of different things when they got started. Think about this. You can start working from home. You can find a mentor, a retiree that can become an advisor to you, use free software or instead of spending money on more expensive softwares use old equipment. You can even go, instead of buying equipment, you can rent out used equipment, which is much cheaper, and you get started. As you start making more money, then you can decide to either purchase some of the used equipment or purchase new equipment. You can trade services or product with other entrepreneurs. You can barter with individuals. They can provide maybe their time or they provide a skill to you for an exchange or something you can do for them. You can do collaborations with other entrepreneurs, other people who are within your field or are adjacent field of what you're doing. You can even go as far as partnering with your first customers. We've seen this with individuals who've done stuff like Kickstarters or other crowdfunding campaigns where you get your future customer to invest in whatever the project that you're working on. You can even decide to borrow or obtain credit from suppliers or future strategic partners. Here is the most important part. You need to determine what does this new business opportunity or venture that you are embarking in, what does it require? What do you need to get your business off the ground? What do you need for you to operate your business, for you to launch your business? Then after you determine that, your job is to go out there, however you can, start to assemble those different resources that can help you get your business off the ground. So to answer that first question, you don't necessarily need funding, you need resources. That's all for me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it to one or two friend, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. That's all for me. Remember, you are God's very best. I'll see you next time. Take care.